like early in the season, I, I you know, I made the tweet about uh, the Nets may be better than the Knicks. <laughs> you know, yeah. I said may, and people take it as a definitive thing. But at the time, you know, and then I repeated and say, hey, look, now they have the same record, you know, and it's December. But it's just like all I was saying is like they may be better because they have talent. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's it. And this is all before all the trades and all the crap. And they were just the Knicks were like this stale basketball team. You know what I mean? And but if you look at it now, it looks crazy to say, obviously, you know, because all the trades happen and they've exploded and all the DiVincenzo took a step and Hart took a step and Hartenstein stepped in for Mitch. And it's just been like one thing after another is just hit, 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 hit that it's so easy to be like. Oh, how do you say this? You know, so for the Nets with Mikel Bridges at the time in early January, he's playing well. He's still you still have this hope of maybe he's a star. We don't know before the roommates podcast. <laughs> maybe that's why the Nets said no to the trade with the Rockets for Jalen Green and the picks. I, no, I don't it's, know. It's, it's a fair point. But also at the same time, like, let's say best case scenario, things started working out. Right. It's still not good enough. Now, yes, you're right. Now you're in the doom and gloom phase of Bridges is mm-hmm. pretty bad. 